This is a story that I love, and it's getting me so itchy just thinking about it, getting through this intro, because man, this guy right here, he's kind of been my boy for a long time. And I know a lot of people are going to go out there and say, yo, Lego, you just made that video talking about him and Pavel Bure and how he's not going to be the next Bure. What do you mean he's your boy? He's not playing for your favorite team, and he was only drafted a year ago. Well, both of those points are true to be fair, but today we're talking about Tim Stutzla, the third overall pick of the 2020 NHL Entry Draft by the Ottawa Senators, and where things have gone from his draft season a year ago to today. This is one of my favorite series to do on the YouTube channel because it allows us to take an in-media raise look to these players and where they had come from. For Tim Stutzla, this is the best story so far out of the three videos we have done in this series for this year, from Lafreniere to Byfield to... Jack Quinn as well. We actually did that one before any of the other ones. But today we're going over Tim Stutzla. As we said, third overall, 2020 NHL draft. He is six feet tall, 196, a center left wing player, 19 years old, out of Germany, who had been playing with the Ottawa Senators. He was taken third overall in the position that a lot of people were not really surprised about. He was ranked to go second by ISS. Future considerations had him at third. TSN and Craig Button, they had him at second overall. McKean's at second. TSN and Bob McKenzie at second. NHL Central Scouting had him at number one for European skaters. And for good reason. Back when Tim Stutzla was draft eligible in the 2019-20 season, he suited up for Adler Mannheim, getting 34 points in 41 games played. Now, that's really good because he is a just under point per game guy playing in the top German league in that system. He is playing with men. He is only a teenager, and he won himself the DEL's Rookie of the Year award. However, it was not all positive for Tim Stutzla in his draft season, with rankings like these where people were saying, yeah, he's a lock for the top three, man. Top three pick right there. Because a year before the draft, and a year before he actually put up these numbers, Scouts had a little bit of a different viewing of Tim Stutzla. This is because in 2018-19, the season before his draft year, he was in the U-20 league for Jung Adler Mannheim's U-20 team, which is indeed the junior version of Adler Mannheim. He was a double point per game player over there, but it wasn't really good enough to put him in the eyes of scouts as a top three pick. You take a look at scouting outlets back from this time frame in 2019. This is Steve Koreanis. He's the guy who runs the draft analyst who published a mock draft back in July of 2019 saying that Tim Stutzla was going to be, guess what, the 23rd overall pick. This is what TSN and Bob McKenzie wrote about from September of 2019, so a year before the draft as well. Tim Stutzla, what is he, first overall, second overall, third? No. He's not 23rd by any means, but Tim Stutzla is down here 14th overall. One year before the NHL draft, we had ourselves so many scouting outlets in the public eye saying that this Tim Stutzel guy from Germany was going to be a post-top 10 pick. He would be 13th overall. He'd be 23rd overall. He'd be somewhere in the range of the Braden Schneiders and the Jake Sandersons. Meanwhile... I, on the other hand, had Tim Stutzla at 6th in my mock draft that was published June 25th, 2019. So, yeah, please, praise me more. Praise me more for going out there and projecting Tim Stutzla to being a top 10 pick. People said I was crazy for it, man. Like, why the heck do you have Stutzla at 6th overall? Bob McKenzie has this guy at 13th. You're really reaching on this Tim Stutzla guy, Lego. And there was an article published, actually, a year before that. This is from January of 2018, from a French outlet right here. Tim Stutzla, Le Prochain Leon Dreisaitl? Le Prochain is the next. So this article back in 2018 from the folks over in Europe were talking about Tim Stutzla as if he was going to be the next version of Leon Dreisaitl. Not in terms of the play style. They don't really play the same way. Leon Dreisaitl is a big body. He can power his way through guys. He can also dangle. He can score at will, and his passing ability is exceptional. Stutzla was never supposed to be that, but hey, you gotta remember, Tim Stutzla went out there and outproduced... Leon Dreisaitl's draft minus two year playing in the U18 German League, which is why we had outlets like this back in the beginning of 2018, talking about how, hey, this Leon Dreisaitl guy, he is a top NHL point producer, he is a first liner, he's an elite talent, and he's German. He is the best German player ever to be seen. Tim Stutzla might be next in line. 
not in terms of the playstyle, but in terms of the impact and the way they're able to force points up on the board. Back then, I was just enamored with the profile that Tim Stutzla had, which is why in 2019, I made the mock draft saying, yeah, he's going to go sixth overall. And lo and behold, he had himself a really good year in the SHL. He showed off his dynamic ability to just create offense and dangle through guys and the just really polished instincts he had for the game. You know, he had that X factor that allowed him to impact every second of the offensive zone every time he touched the puck, which is why he went third overall in spite of all the rankings the year beforehand saying that he was going to be out of the top 10. Now, it's been a year since he was drafted. He played for the Ottawa Senators. He had 29 points in 53 games played, 12 goals, 17 assists. He made the team right away, and he made the team better right away as well. Tim Stutzla, at 18 years old, was a very competitive and overall just effective guy, and I don't really know how else there is to say that. Even though he was third overall, he wasn't a Jack Hughes or a Connor McDavid or an Austin Matthews, he still went out here and played at the level of a regular NHL caliber forward despite being 18 years old, and he showed off all the talent that he had, and it's kind of crazy because a lot of Senators fans who watched Tim Stutzla this season were like, yeah, he's already really good now. Just imagine what this guy's going to be doing when he's 21, when he's 23, when he's 25. This is a guy who had, if you do the math over here, 29 divided by 53 multiplied out by 82. He was on pace over a full 82-game season for 45 points, which is not bad in the slightest for a third overall pick that you essentially got from the San Jose Sharks for Eric Carlson. He also went to the World Juniors before suiting up in the National Hockey League, where he was two points a game, five games played, ten points for Team Germany. He won the Best Forward of the Tournament Award, and he was also on the All-Star Team, despite the fact that he played on Team Germany, and Team Germany didn't really do all too well in the tournament itself. Tim Stutzla, though, he was great, he did his thing, and he showed off that even though you had yourself some fantastic performances from guys like Dylan Cousins and Trevor Zegras and all these fantastic American and Canadian guys who had so many points, Tim Stutzla was the best forward of the tournament, so there you go. It's honestly kind of crazy because the way Tim Stutzla was playing, you take a look at the game log he had, he was getting pretty consistent numbers throughout the entire year. Sure, there were some stints where he didn't really produce all too much, but... That's not really to be faulted for an 18-year-old rookie in the NHL. For all intents and purposes, what Tim Stutzla was in his first year of National Hockey League action as a first-year eligible player for the league was nothing short of spectacular. And it's not like the Alexi Lafreniere, Quinton Byfield kind of thing where, oh, even though he produced the same amount of points, he still did this. It's because Lafreniere was supposed to be fantastic right away. Jack Hughes. A lot of people projected Jack Hughes towards getting 60-plus points in his first year in the NHL. That did not happen. We had expectations for top guys coming into their NHL seasons and their debuts, but a lot of the top picks we had recently didn't really produce in the way that we wanted them to. Even the second overall guys, Capo Caco, kind of a disappointment in his first year relative to what people thought he would be able to do. Quinton Byfield. Well, that's not really a fault of his own. He played in the AHL most of the year. And we did do the One Year Later video on him, so you can go ahead and check out my entire take on Byfield. But when it comes to these top guys, sure, it's Svechnikov and Darlene doing well, it's Matthews and Line doing well, it's McDavid and Eichel doing well, but the recent few seasons have had some weird ones at the top. But third overall, Tim Stutzla kicking things off into the NHL year one? Hey, for the expectations that a third overall pick usually has heading into the NHL, he did really well, and I'm super excited to see how he's going to be doing in year two, when he is 19 years old. See how this guy goes out adjusting to a sophomore season in the National Hockey League. It always makes me so happy seeing Tim Stutzla do really well because of how hyped I was for him a few years before the draft even happened. Like, I will never stop taking credit for putting him sixth overall in my mock draft because he was really good as a German junior player in that league. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Tim Stutzel and the way that he has developed. Are you satisfied with what he's done so far? Are you reluctant to think he's going to do more? Talk to me in the comments. Where do you think his career goes from here? How many points does he get in 2022? Do you think this guy is going to ever surpass that status of a Byfield or a Lafreniere? I still personally do believe that Lafreniere and Byfield do have higher C feelings than Stutzla, but it really wouldn't surprise me if one day Tim Stutzla gets like 90 points in the NHL. Like, you want to follow in the footsteps of Leon Dreisaitl in terms of prosperity amongst German hockey prospects? That's the way you do it, man. So for Tim Stutzla, one year ago, he was a guy that was pegged to maybe even going second overall, but who ultimately went third. 
Today, he has shown himself off as a dangerous threat on the ice who has himself such a bright future you can't even imagine. So again, talk to me in the comments. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye. <laughs>